Hi and welcome to Old School Blues Guitar. It is time for the fourth lesson in my classic click series on the playing of John Lee Hooker. We're looking at his tunes in Open G, Open A from an album called John Lee Hooker, The Legendary Modern Recordings. This is a great CD. And I mentioned this before, but I'm referencing this CD because this is what I'm, I'm learning off of. And I'm going to tell you some names of songs that he's recorded a bunch of different times, and each time maybe differently. So the, the licks that I'm teaching you, I'm basing them off what I've learned from, from this CD, which many of the songs of which are available on YouTube. So if you don't want to fork out the money for the CD, you can, you can find them. We're going to look at the single string playing. And in a lot of John Lee Hooker's tunes, the slow tunes especially, you hear some stuff like this. And so how does he do that? How do you play blues scale or how do you do that in an open tuning? Well, I've learned what I've learned by watching some videos. He had some videos, there's some videos of him on YouTube. There's one where he plays it on this folk and blues tour that went to England in the early 60s. Maybe you've seen these before. And they show him playing hobo blues, and I studied that video. I've also seen a couple of videos of other guys playing this stuff. And basically, he's got this little scale up here, or down here on the, on the neck. And I'm just going to show you some basic licks and ideas that you can use to start figuring this out. I am still figuring this out. And I'm sure I've only got the basics, but listening to the songs on this CD that are in the open tuning, this is about all he does. He's, he's just using a, a few notes and a couple bends and some simple ideas. So the first thing is when you're in open tuning, you've got to anchor this first finger on the third fret of the second string. And this lick right here, which is the first one I have tapped out, is pretty basic. holding that first finger solid and then bending up with my third finger on the fifth fret of the third string and then hitting that third fret of the second string and a lot of times you'll hear him repeat this like this so you've got that got the bent note on the fifth fret and you've got the open open string is a G, so that fits into our open or an A with the second capo on there, the second the capo on the second fret. So that basic click, so there's one that you hear him playing. And he can add stuff to that. One note he adds is the fifth fret of the first string. So that's one you can play. And the open. Third, first string, fifth fret, open first string, third fret of the second string, fifth fret of the third string, open. And then he, another thing he does is he gets this bend on the third fret of the se second string. I'm not sure exactly how he does this. Again, without the capo, if I was just tuned to open A with, and didn't have the capo here, then I could play that song, it'd be a lot easier to get this finger here and bend that. But with an electric guitar, I can see how with practice you'd be able to do it. And he does these licks like this. This is the second lick I have out, where he combines some, some stuff. second string. And it's open third string and then that bend with the open third ending it. So that lick one more time, you hear this one a lot.
and there's something you can throw into a, a slow tune. So those notes... You can also use this note right here, the 5th fret of the 4th string. So you could do something like this. finger slip. So you can go open, third string, fifth, fifth fret of the fourth string, open. Here's a little lick. So. You can come up with endless variations to play out of that. So what I'm listening to, especially in the slower tunes like Crawling Kingsnake, Hobo Blues, there's one called Tease Me Baby that I've been listening to. You know, he uses those licks. Sometimes he just stays on this lick. Like that. Sometimes he throws in that first string. And that's the essence of the first single string stuff that he plays. Now, listening to some of these things, there's a point where I think he might go up here. And do something on the seventh fret of the third string. And I'm doing it like a three-fingered band in standard tuning. My first finger is now anchored on the fifth fret of the third string, and I'm bending up the seventh fret with my ring finger. And then I've got the fifth fret 7th fret, 5th fret, and then the 7th fret of the 4th string to play with. And then the open 3rd string when I want to get back to my rhythm there. So something like this. And I hear him doing it. It sounds like he's doing that instead of... Instead of playing it down here, I think he's playing it up here. It just sounds a little thicker. It sounds like the third string and the fourth string instead of the second string and the third string. So those are some single string ideas. And in his slow tunes, he combines all this stuff. So we've learned the, the basic rhythm that he does on the open, open strings, especially in the boogie tunes. And then he throws in these double stop slides. stuff in different ways and if you listen and study some of his songs the ones I've been mentioning you'll hear him do all that so there are some single string ideas on the first four strings now in the last lesson for this series I'm just going to go through a few of his bass ideas which he would work into that whole thing and then we'll put everything we've learned together and hopefully you can take what you've got what I've taught you here and start figuring out some of this John Lee Hooker stuff if you have any questions or comments, let me know. I'll be back with the last lesson here in just a minute.